well, new test results are out showing how U.S. students match up against kids in other parts of the world. And the results are not good. Students in the U.S. are falling behind their peers in both math and science. Yeah, 15-year-olds in 30 countries took the math and science test. In science, the U.S. students tested lower than the teens in 16 other countries. Unfortunately, it was worse in math, where scores were lower than in 23 other countries. Teens in Finland and Hong Kong, by the way, performed best on the test. And that's why it's so important to start teaching your kids math math when they're young. And one of our regular guests here on Good Day Colorado, Wendy Miller, former teacher and mom and founder of Munchkin Math, back with us this morning <laughs> to help everybody. And also to get us doing some really fun things on the air. Uh, I'm nervous, you guys. <laughs> okay, so last week we, had, we got a lesson in symmetry. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this week we're talking about the metric system. And when we talk about other countries performing in math, um, the United States falls behind in the metric system for obvious reasons. We don't use it on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And what we find working with teachers and parents is um, our comfort level is just a little bit lower. The metric system is actually easier to use than our system. Our system is 12 inches in a foot, 3 feet in a yard, 5,280 feet in a mile. Really? And we're all over <laughs> That. Got that one. <laughs> All the metric system is, is times 10. So what we're going to do is talk about household objects that can help kids with a metric system. So you need to take your fingers together and squeeze them as close together as you can without touching. Okay. I had coffee, so I'm like, <laughs> 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 um, The width of a credit card, that, that depth, is a millimeter. Okay. Now, children have something neat in their bodies in elementary school. Their finger width from one side to the other is a centimeter. Okay. So they can actually measure objects at home using centimeters. Say they take their toothbrush, they can measure it. One, two, three, four, oh. five, six. It's a good coordination form too. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve centimeters. Okay. So a foot. No, it's no, not, not because, because 12 inches, see, I'm still, out, I'm still the Dewey Decimal. No, system. no, we're just, this is, actually, um, 10 centimeters is a decimeter, which is about the size of a sandwich. Might be kind of hard to brush with a foot long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really. I just threw that, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to that's mention That's all right, that no, that's okay. Um, so what we want to do is talk to kids about the words. So the word meter is that root word. So cent in English almost always is indicative of 100, like, a hundred cents in a dollar. How mm -hmm. many years are in a century? Cool. A hundred. A oh. hundred centimeters are in a meter. So what we can do at home, there's a couple things, um, and we have a lot of these listed on our website for parents to go log on and get some free ideas that they can use at home. One of them is we always do the growth chart in inches. You could also put a growth chart for your children mm -hmm. in centimeters. They get excited because all of a sudden, instead of being 40 inches, they're 100 centimeters. Oh, you know? neat. Wendy, can I stop right now and just say, well, now why do we want to learn this? Are we transferring over? Is there a movement to move towards centimeters and, and to the meter, the metric system, or to do commerce in other countries and understand what's going on? Um, it is frustrating. I wish there was more of a movement because um, from the math perspective, the metric system is actually much easier. You're just doing times 10, times 10, times 10, which is a lot mm -hmm. easier easier than all of the other combinations that we have here in the U.S. Um, our children are at a disadvantage in math and science in the higher levels because when we do correspond with the rest of the world and interact in the science field or in the math field, everything's in metric right. um, as well as in sports. So if we can give our children the base of the metric system at home, doing mm -hmm. things like that growth chart or having them measure objects in centimeters and just being open to the metric system, because um, I think a lot of times we pass down that you know closed viewpoint of it to our to our children, um, and showing them that it is an easy system to learn, and um, it's easy to clear. forget too yeah. if you're not yeah. using you know, keep it. up with it. it. Right. So we're going to do metric aerobics real quick. Oh, so okay. I'll say, <laughs> show me a millimeter, and you go squeeze a centimeter, yeah. decimeter. That's a sandwich. 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 Can we eat the sandwich? No. You can't. <laughs> okay. so, so with parents at home, you have to go fast. Go millimeter, centimeter, centimeter. decimeter, millimeter. I did it wrong. Oh, <laughs> no, you never so, do it wrong. <laughs> there My you go. getting so, tired. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You get to go slow with You can go slow with your kids. And then you go yeah. fast and you mm -hmm. get the okay. aerobics down. Right. And okay. so just that movement helps them with their memory to help them okay. remember. Okay. Well, thank you so much Thanks. for today's math lesson. <laughs> thank we you. We really appreciate it. Yes. We always cool. learn something. Can you imagine how much the kids would learn? I know. Oh, she's so much just fun, too. Just don't tell us our weight in grams. Okay. <laughs> I know. I want to know. In kilograms, you divide by 2.2. Okay. Even better. We told you not to tell us.
Well, be sure to watch Wendy. She's going to come back next week. She'll spend the newscast chatting live online with all of you, giving some great advice and answering any questions you have to help your little ones learn math and be excited about math and do really well with that. So that's next Wednesday, so make sure to tune in. And you can also find a link to Munchkin Math. Just visit myfoxcolorado.com. Look for the links page under Good Day. All right. Well, Sean.